Well, you should well remember the movie Fried Green Tomatoes, a big hit in the 90s. But have you ever wondered exactly what fried green tomatoes are? Laura Weldon from the Dorchester County Historical Society is here to show not only how to make them, but share with us how Dorchester County is celebrating the history and heritage of the tomato and really all agriculture. Yep. That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Welcome um, to the show. Yeah, we, we're calling it Tomato Festival, even though um, we grow a lot of tomatoes on the mm -hmm. eastern shore. We're, I'm not quite sure who's the largest producer, but it's not us anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to come up with something at the Historical Society that celebrates the agricultural heritage of the eastern shore. Right, right. Um, and we have peach festivals, we have strawberry festivals, we have apple festivals, <laughs> we have seafood festivals, we have everything. We have nothing that honors the tomato. The tomato. Okay, so um, we're going to make some fried that. green tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not many ingredients. No. Tell us what, what do we use? What, what's in there? Okay, well let me tell you something about the tomato. Basically, it's most people use green tomatoes because if you take a look at this slice, it's pretty, I wouldn't necessarily use green. it as a foundation of a house, right. yeah. but it's very, it's very firm and it's, the structure is very, um, very hard, if you will. Yeah. Um, so that way, uh, it's not going to fall apart in cooking. Oh, okay. That doesn't mean you can't use a ripe tomato. It's just that you have to be a little bit more careful when you're frying it because it might fall apart. Gotcha. But okay. most people use green tomatoes. So and so historically, green tomatoes what, else, what else do we have here? We have all of these ingredients. Which are? This is uh, corn meal, white okay. corn meal, flour, yeah. scramble up an egg. Got an egg. That's separate. Good. Uh, this is salt, onion powder, and pepper. Gotcha. All of these use to your taste you can throw in some other seasonings if you want okay, okay. so the first thing you're going to do what you're going to do you're you're queen of the dredge and you are king of the slice <laughs> i've never I'm, been called i'm going to get you a banner <laughs> that says queen of the dredge do i get a tear i'm going to tell you crash? yes i absolutely. will work on okay. that <laughs> so i'm slicing this yes you're going to slice this but what you want to do is you want to take out the center now this is going to be tough you're going to think you're going to think you're cutting an apple right so you want to cut out that core okay and then you're going to slice it about a half inch Gotcha. Thick. Alrighty. All right. And so then once you get those slices, if you just want to do a couple of them to save time, you don't have to cut the whole thing. And then um, put them on those paper towels, and I'm going to show you what the fun you're going to have. I with those might be paper pretty towels. good at slicing tomatoes. You never know. <laughs> <It's gonna happen. laughs> but green tomatoes, they're a little harder to slice. Yeah. And you want about. Let's test him. So Let's see like, if he can slice. Isn't it like cutting up an apple? It is. It really is. And you know what? Personally, I like that because when I'm trying to cut something mushy. I'm bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad about You're that. Okay, so I got no, I, no. I sliced my entire so tomato more. here. Just go ahead and give one more. Right. You don't need to do. Now do you like you. How much of my thumb do I get to take off? Yeah. <laughs> Please let us know what part of that tomato is your thumb oh, so okay. we can avoid that. All right, so what you're gonna do on these paper towels is you're gonna put these here. Now this is this is a this is and you're frying anything, anything, not just tomatoes. See all that liquid in there? Right. You wanna dry that off with paper toweling. Why? Because when you coat it, yeah. it won't stick if the surface oh, okay. is wet. This works with chicken, it works with fish fillets, okay. anything you want to dry it off with paper toweling. Okay? And so, there we go. Yep, and there you go. Right. Now I'm going to slice a few more and she's dredging. Queen dredge. Okay. Queen dredge. All right, so what I have here, <laughs> <Queen> dredge. <laughs> now that now it seems like, like ridiculous that we just dried off those tomatoes just uh -huh. to get them wet in egg, okay. but that'll put a little bit of flavor and make it a little bit rich. You're going to dip it in the egg. Okay, and of course we mixed all of the ingredients, uh, the flour, the cornmeal, the yep, salt, that's the pepper. All and again, you can add other other seasonings in it that you want. It's up to you. Okay. How about Old Bay? Huh. I started to say, you got to put Old Bay in there. <laughs> we put Old Bay in everything. Okay, yeah, how's you that? put Old Bay in it. Okay. Good? All right, and okay, you just, just go ahead and put it right in, in the center of that. And that should start frying so, up or not. So do you get them? <laughs> yeah, it is. So what you want to be careful of is a couple things here. It's fried. This is such an easy dish to make. It is such an easy dish to mess up. Really? Because this, all that, um, the cornmeal and the flour will start to float off. It'll get up in that oil. And yeah. as your oil heats up, that cornmeal will fry, will turn brown very, very quickly. And ah. it'll start smoking and everything. So if you're making more than, say, two or three, I would even change it after one whole tomato slices. Okay. Um, I would change out the oil, wipe out the pan, and start a, again so with fresh oil. keep everything clean as you go. Yeah, because once that, all that stuff in there starts browning, it'll give you the false impression impression that your tomato is And you said don't do it fast. Take well, your time with it and let yeah, it cook. Yeah, you well, I don't want to say take your time with it and let it cook because it's Should not going to put gonna, this one in. You can. It's not going to um it's not going to um 
take too long to cook. Okay. But you don't want to leave. Well, you don't want to ever leave anything cooking on a stove, really. Right. But this you don't want to because you got oil. It's at a medium temperature. It's about, I'd say, medium high heat. And then when it starts cooking, you even want to turn that down. Flip All right. Over. So let's so, talk about the event, the tomato ah, festival. Yeah. Lots of fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, our first year was last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a as a fundraiser for our organization, it was supposed to break even. It made right. money last year. For oh, us, okay. Because hey. people, the the big highlight is the tomato wars. And um, we have, and you're showing great pictures of all the different events that go on during right. the, mm -hmm. the festival. But there's actually a tomato battle? Actual tomato battle. And we and came up is. with a set of rules. The, the Charlie, uh, Travels with Charlie gave us that video. Yeah, yeah. now that's, that's right in front of our front yard. Oh, but the goodness. actual tomato wars, we have timed heats. Uh -huh. We had six different teams. All of them were sponsored by businesses. Um, and basically what they do is they got about a minute to throw tomatoes at each other and they, we give them a special white tomato emblazoned t-shirt and the team that has the least tomato goo on them wins a giant tomato trophy with nice. Them. nice. Um, and ironically last year the team that won was Dead Aim sponsored by a funeral home. Wouldn't you know? Okay, so now, we're, this is starting. we're yep. going to start this. Aren't you excited How about long that? should it cook? Um, I, when you start to see the edges brown a little bit that that coating right. brown a little bit, that's when you want to flip it. Okay. All right, so what we, through Magic of Television, are going to go ahead and taste some uh, fried green tomatoes sure. that you actually cooked up before. Yep. So, because otherwise She's we getting probably... a fork. I'm not going to get a fork. You're, you're used to pick it up? Okay. You well, can. You can say, yeah, that's a good well, one. Is there an up. etiquette with uh, no. eating fried green? No, no, not It's okay just to dive There's right a, into it yeah. and go? Mmm. Boy, that reminds me of home. Mm -hmm. Well, that really is good. All right, we're going to go over the event details for the Great Eastern Shore Tomato Festival, Saturday, August 17th. It starts at 10 a.m. in historic downtown Vienna. If you want some more information, 410-228-7953. Still to come on Delmarva Life, where is Brian? He's somewhere on the peninsula. Brian, we're ready for our second clue. Well, Lisa, here is clue number two, and it is also your final clue, so pay close attention. Clue number two, this place ranks number two. What is that all about? I'll explain because I'm going to reveal where I am when we come back. Stay with us.